Hi there player, I'm Coach Eddie and welcome to Dublin Table Tennis, a channel where we do all things table tennis, like tutorials, tips, tricks, exercise drills, so on and so on. Thank you so much for the people that watched last week's video where I asked them to drop an emoji of the country they're from and so many of you got engaged with me, it's absolutely amazing. People from India, America, Bulgaria, Russia, Australia, Nigeria, Jamaica, it was amazing. North, uh, South America, like Chile and Argentina, absolutely amazing to talk to every single one of you get to know you better understand more of where you come from and why you watch the channel and you know, why you watch the video so right now i feel a lot more comfortable talking to a camera all alone in the sports hall but it's a, it feels a bit more connected ironically or sadly or whatever it feels a bit more connected knowing that i know a bit about you as viewers and as players so as your coach i have to teach you new things and or improve you on the things that you already know. So I thought like, what video I'm doing today? And then I realized, you know, I've talked a lot about uh, pendulum serve. I talked about the grip for the reverse pendulum as well, how to improve a few things, you know, those videos in the link in the description and whatnot. But I've actually never talked about how to perform reverse pendulum serve for the beginners. Like I've never done a video dedicated just for reverse pendulum for the beginner stage on how to develop it, start it, and all the tips and tricks, you, tips and tricks and characteristics you must know of the serve. So that's today's video, how to perform a reverse pendulum serve for beginner level. Before we jump on the table, okay, I need to show you, just in case if it's the first time you're watching this, how to grip it. Now I have two videos, detailed versions, in the description to understand why and where we put our fingers and blah, blah, blah. So check them out. But I'm gonna run through a quick demonstration on how to grip it. I'm right-handed, so I put my arm like this, racket goes sideways, these three fingers are relevant, so I bend them in and I flip it up. That is basically how you hold the racket. For stability reasons, I put the middle finger between the rubber and the blade for, for better balance. But yeah, that's how it goes. This finger can go bent or not, up to you. Thumb goes whatever, usually on the logo of the rubber. Now that we have our serve, when you get onto the table, I'm gonna show you how to professionally stand onto the table. I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna start left side of the table. More specifically, my left foot is gonna to touch to the side of the table like this. There is nothing illegal about this. Don't listen to anybody. This is legal. Why? Because as long as your ball is in an open hand and behind the table, it makes it legal. In theory, you can be like this and it still count legal as long as you follow the rules of the throwing and having the ball behind the table. You don't want, it's not necessary to do that, but the point is it is legal what you're doing standing in this position right here, having your left foot behind on the side of the table. Now, this other foot goes on tippy toes, which helps you to catapult back into rotation when you perform, you perform your serve successfully into positions like this. Link in the description below and on the video how exactly it tells you in more detail from different camera angle what it looks like and why it's done. But this is how you start with your serve for reverse painting. Now the main reason I'm doing this video is because I want to teach you something that I used to struggle with is the connectivity between the racket and the ball. I used to struggle with that whip, with our arm movement to be able to contact and drive enough spin force and all that. It just would not work. It took me eight months of doing this, like that. Okay, I missed on purpose. But to do that, to get the idea on how the arm works. Because as the pendulum serve, the arm elbow goes up, it goes out, and in reverse pendulum, being the, you know, the word reverse, you do it in reverse. You go from in and out. So, this is why I tell the kids, I tell them be a John Wayne. They don't know what that is. That's how old I am. But be, be that Western movie um, cowboy where he whips out the pistol like that. That is actually the moment and the style of what you do in the reverse pendulum. You come out sideways, right? Elbow up. It's sideways. You come, the ball comes, goes up. You go out and in. Like a whip action of the gun. Let me show you from a different angle what I mean. Wrist bend, throw, and come in. I'm not even rotating, I'm just gonna whip in actually the wrist and listen how many times the ball bounces. That's all on the table. I'm not even rotating, I'm not even my ready position. I'm just using the, the whip action of the arm to make all the necessary quality on the ball. 
Mid, and come out. Whip it out, whip it in. As your coach, my job is actually also to update you and inform you on the World Tabletons. So, as you may know, may or may not know, in this date right here, the World Tabletons Championships is going to happen in Texas, Houston. Um, on this date right here, I can't exactly remember, but I'm going to put it right, right here on the screen. I'm going to pin you down a com uh, in the comments a link to the Federation website where you can find the official live stream with commentary that's going to be used and you can use that to watch the world championships so, so yeah hope you enjoy and i'm sure you and i will watch a few matches together i'll let you know about that later but yeah back to the video So yeah, that's your beginner how to perform a reverse pendulum serve. Most, most importantly, focusing on the arm swing, what you need to do and how you need to look out for it to develop it and such and such. I'm gonna wait until this video gets a few, um, like maybe 200 likes. That will tell me that it's been a long, long enough time to show the intermediate version. But yeah, comments below, you can see my pinned comment of the link where you can find the live stream, the World Championships. I will show you later on how you can get involved with me if you want to watch it with me. But yeah, just play, have fun, enjoy the game.